Welcome to this episode of DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be making some more mods to the Zone Star. So, one of the pieces that I've mentioned in the past when I was building it is they have the, it comes with this 3D printed uh, top support which goes right underneath here. And one of the things, it doesn't have a bearing, it just has this odd plastic bushing in it. And one of the things when I was looking on Thingiverse I came across was this modification. And what this does is allow a bearing to go in here, holds the rod here, and then replaces these uh, uh, rather light duty um, screws, uh, yeah I guess that's what I'd call them, screws not bolts, um, that actually just self tap into this. Uh, with something a little bit more sustenant with a three millimeter uh, nut and bolt setup. However, one of the pieces, it uses a smaller bearing assembly as you see here. So what I did is, I've got a ton of these um, 608 ZZs laying around, you know, from the fidget spinner days. So I wanted to reuse these. So what I did is I took this part and simply remixed it for the larger bearing. And I'm going to go ahead and install this. And I'll have this part out on Thingiverse too, so if you want to go ahead and make this modification, you can. Uh, because it's a rather simple mod, so kind of a long story short. Kind of like as we, we installed the lower mortar mounts, we just remove these screws from the top here. And I think that's all within frame, yeah. So it's kind of easy, we're just going to remove these. So the disassembly goes pretty quick. Then usually we'll need a little bit larger screwdriver to pull out this um, larger nut which retains the rod. And then what we do is we just kind of pop this up and back it up and then remove the original as this. Then what I'm going to do is just kind of tilt this, lift up and tilt this forward and place this over top of the rod. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to tap this There we go until it's flush with this. Watch that don't get that does not get clipped underneath there. And then I'm going to just move this back into place. And you see my holes line up here and here. So one of the things with this, we will have to use a bit longer um, bolt, if you will, three mil uh, three millimeter bolt or M3 bolt. I think these are probably about 10 millimeters long, which you could probably go a little bit shorter. Um, I like it a little bit longer. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of tap, this, center these. Now before I put the, um, the actual nuts on, I like to get both started because this, is, the idea behind this is to really snug all this up. And then now once I have these started, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this guy back in because I want this to pull in the direction because there's a little bit of room given inside this plate very very little but a little bit and I want to make sure I get my rod straight first before tightening this down and so we now have that tightened down so we're gonna go ahead screw these the rest of the way in since we have this all aligned And what will happen is the nut will pull up inside of the uh, housing and you'll snug this up. You don't want to get it too tight because it'll, you know, with the PLA it'll just keep pulling. So I'm going to go ahead and do this one now. Okay, so there we go. We have uh, this done. So I'm going to go ahead and move this over here so I can kind of tip this back. And you guys can see what this looks like. So you can see the the piece in there. Is that in the frame? Nope. So there it is. It's in the frame. So you can kind of see how that looks. Uh, and I'll probably do some overlays too uh, of it on there. So anyways, another really easy mod. And uh, again, really kind of stiffens this whole unit up. And that's sort of my idea with uh, doing both the bottom uh, 
mounted now these. So anyways, hopefully you found this interesting. I will have these out on Thingiverse, so if you have one of these, uh, you can go ahead and print them off. If you want to get one of these, I'll have the link below. Don't forget, the swag shop is going to be up in the corner. Let me know in the comments below if you have one of these, what you're thinking, what you're doing. Are there any other really cool mods I should be making to this? Let me know down below, and we'll see you guys in the next video when we make something. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.